What's going down, techies and tech hats? And thank you, community. I missed this one. Uh, they are rapid fire with NVIDIA, and I would not even be surprised if we see something in the next few days for a few new installments for games. If you're playing Resident Evil, leave a comment down below. And for about 91% of you, you're brand new to the tech community. You should hit the subscription button. It's absolutely free. It helps me out as a creator. My name is Mac, and you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. And today we're going to be looking at some benchmarks. We're going to look at the patch notes, and we're going to take a look and digest 466.27 in the four. 65 series from nvidia so let's go ahead and roll into it for most people wanting the technical notes we can definitely absorb those directly onto the website i'll have this linked down below and we'll be taking a look at the reddit portion but there also is a nice little effective for the the 12th which they have some graphic ready drivers for as far as what they are looking at and fixing inside of the maxwell the pascal volta turing and ampere for as far as the system utilization and the mobile portion so there are some stuff we're going to be looking at for as far as what they digest but that will be here the technicals are always in numbers so taking a look over here if you're brand new to that network we're gonna have the brand new driver the 466.27 on the right hardware accelerator on on the top hardware accelerator off on the bottom and we have the 466.11 same exact one matched up with hardware to hardware across from each other and hardware off across from each other so taking a look at that and digesting in you're gonna see that you're taking a step back the older driver was a little bit more performed for 4k for as far as what they've had inside of the well quality of uh, getting a little bit more of graphic performance and it's just points it's not going to be a percentage where it's a game changer it's not that bad of a driver it's just when you're looking and comparing it does get beat a little bit but if there's stability if we're gaining back the bars around your freaking gameplay because as we see the patch notes up above we're gonna go ahead and go into that we'll look at the rest of the benchmarks later on in the segment i just wanted to give a nice little appetizer for most people wondering what's going down so 4k DirectX 12, it's not doing too shabby but i'm hoping in the future we can see some better push of performance now, titles are always going to be something that launch and give way for as far as what's happening inside of the expansions, as NVIDIA can definitely be ahead where today AMD released their new 21.5.1, which I'll be covering just later on today. So if you're an AMD fan too, you will be getting the news. Very cool for my tech fans, but there are some cool things that they added for Resident Evil The Village. You can see that there are some supports for G-Strink compatibilities, Mass Effect, and the legendary edition which is pretty cool 4k remastered on top of the situation the metro exodus pc enhanced edition which adds additional ray tracing effects instead of the nvidia dlss 2.0 for greater performance and quality scrolling down for as far as what we can see inside of the new features and other changes it adds support for the directx 12 agility sdk very cool hopefully they can make some more newer feature portions for as far as the way we can support that and go portionably hand for hand for performance now that i would like to see on top of the situation the driver has some hash limits for the g force rtx 3060 12 gig is required for the product ship starting this may so apparently i guess if you get it before it's just like limited in hash oh, how clever uh, moving on past that situation as we look at fixed issues besides what we can kind of see where there are some issues if somehow you have a 3060 12 gig that's kind of cool um, but moving on to the nvidia reflex inside of rainbow six siege it's always having some kind of issue performance related to the issues in the nvidia reflex and rainbow siege are still at large but hopefully no more 2.1 in hdmi comes into the in-game fps that may cap to the display refresh rates when the uh, vertical sync is set to off the rigid gems inside of the prepar 3d the application may crash or fail to launch no more inside of that they all have some open issues so they had very brief portions and 
adding more towards what was happening with game titles and some newer added features for as far as where you can see the open issues they come down from anywhere from the yellow bang with the error and code 10 appears inside of nvidia's performance inside of the control framework and the properties in the device manager that is really complex after an expressor cost <laughs> install is rebooted Wow, horrible. This is why DDU, if this stuff happens, rebooting the system clears the error and the dynamic boots enable. Um, I mean, NVIDIA installs definitely have become a little bit more harsh. And the reason why I wanted to start with that headliner is because during this install, when I had it, it did like this really weird, I've never seen it. I've done tons and tons of installs and my tech community is like, yeah, this dude's definitely seasoned to this. So first time I've ever seen it go from window, 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 and it kept expanding. It was the weirdest thing I ever saw. And I was like, wait, did something just break? Cause I just re-thermaled my card. And I was just like, well, I did put liquid metal on it. Maybe this is the death of my car. It wasn't, luckily. Um, that would have been funny. I would have made a video about it. But moving on past that situation, so we, we have the card, and out of nowhere, bam, it, it gives me this complete process but it just looked like it was fragmenting so like the installation sometimes can be really rough do a clean installation if you run into other errors clean install take it completely out ddu it i'll leave a video at the very end of it for the new people they can follow it step by step it'll make it easy and very usable and bring life to your gpu to sum up the patch notes is we have mortar shell and the uh, unusual increase for in the brightness and encouragement shadowing and the quality is set to low or medium um, you have a workaround for the shadow quality from high or ultra um, call of duty black ops cold war games crashing inside of the gtx 10 series of gpus wow in the shadow lands random flickerings may occur in certain locations in the game Batman Arkham Knight, and the game crashes and the turbulent smoke is enabled, and the VR games, shutters or lagging occurs upon launching a game while any GPU hardware monitoring tool is running inside the background. The YouTube video playback shutter, it definitely does have an issue, but one of the community members suggested if you roll back into a I think it's a dx9 application roll through like the browser that you're utilizing it, it fixes it it's just one of those weird things where it's just not really working with new school but let's go ahead and look at some bench marks people which we have the tail end of directx 12 how does it finish up in 1080p let's take a closer look as you can see over here we can have the brand new driver actually gaining a little bit more for as far as well nothing much more past the percentage lock of 84 percent now if you look at where points are where the physical driver and graphics acceleration the best performance you're going to get is with a hardware accelerator on with the older driver now again this could follow up with a windows framework and we've seen that before where they circumvent and out of nowhere bam quality performance update and we're looking at a higher fps as it grid locks with the hardware accelerator off and on. I've seen this time and time before as the last previous one where it wasn't doing as good and look what's happening now. It's actually performing decent compared to the newer driver. So I'm not giving up like, um, I guess a lot of hope for the 466 dot like uh, 27. I'm definitely looking forward to the 470 series. The that's gonna be fun. Like it seems like that's gonna be a lot of like hash unlocks. But let's go ahead and take a more overlook past the situation since we see DirectX 12 is not doing us well. How's DirectX 11 look? And as always, the bread and butter is always cared for. As you can see inside of DirectX 11 in the Fire strike, bare mints. 88 is definitely a percentage that's going to be gridlocked across the board, but hardware accelerator on is going to take it. Hardware accelerator off is going to win. So if you're having game play issues, toggle those off and on. It will definitely help you figure out if it's the driver or if it's going to be Windows. If you notice it later on after a Windows update, then toggle, Let's see what happens. It happens to the best of us. It's an ecosystem we're all getting used to and that's why I like helping people out there for techies and techettes. Now moving on past that is we can definitely see that the newer driver wins with a little bit of an edge compared to where the older driver is ironed out at the 88 percentile. How does Extreme and Ultra, and we haven't even got to Port Royale, 
this is where you're gonna start running into some issues it's probably more than likely where they're having certain graphical add-ons for certain games tank where it's not being able to perform um the older driver definitely wins hands down hardware accelerator off just by a little bit but hardware accelerator on in graphics points it still beats it even though the score is up there a little bit more that's literally only because of the physics getting a tiny bit better score and giving it a light run for its money with 4k on the chopping block you can see with hardware accelerator off it performs decent but not as good as the old driver the older driver is where you see a huge percentage increase it's insane actually where you're literally looking at almost 130 40 points and almost about three percentage on the richter scale so if you're running into issues in 4k and you're on direct x11 like gaming yeah it might be a good advice to roll back and just stick it out until the the newer driver comes out which is hopefully soon Port Royale with the ray tracing quality of tensor cores coming into gameplay actually sees a nice improvement with the newer driver. Hardware accelerator off, and yeah, you are going to get some more points. Now, it's not groundbreaking where it's a percentile, but this brings us to the end of the patch note. If you're new to the network, I would suggest subscribing. It's absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do it today, who knows? Maybe NVIDIA will start sending me emails like AMD, and I will always be on time. And they can send me swag, too, and I'll make videos about it. It'll be pretty cool for the community. We can open up NVIDIA boxes. Come on, Jensen. Be kind of cool. I don't you know, think you'd ever watch this, but if you did, help your boy Mac out. Uh, and you can also hit a like. And if you are subscribing this brand new, definitely hit that notification bell and let it ring like a Liberty Bell. So all the newer tech news that comes out, you'll get a notification for it. Have a nice day, everyone. Stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you guys and gals in the near future.